Home is a really safe place for me. It's warmth and comfort. It's a place that you can play around and no one can judge you for it. I'm Mila Kunis, and this is my house. I grew up in a very small town in Ukraine, and I literally had no clue of a different continent, let alone a different language or people or diversity. And when I was seven, my parents moved us to Los Angeles. It was all very jarring and very shocking. But by the age of like eight, boy, did I acclimate perfectly fine. When I was nine, my family moved into the condo that my parents still live in. I graduated high school in that condo. I got my first dog without my parents' permission in that condo. Everything in my, as far as my career happened there. I have the greatest mom on the planet. Never will I understand how she was able to raise my brother and myself while working full time. My mom was there every morning to take me to school. Somehow, magically, we had dinner on the table every night. My dad's awesome. He is one of the most prideful men you'll ever meet. He would never ask for help. He would never ask for a handout. And when times got tough, he just worked. Knowing how hard I work now for what I have puts things in perspective for how much harder my parents had to have worked to have given my brother and I the life that we had. I would like to do this renovation for my parents, Mark and Elvira Kunis, because they've done so many things for my brother and I. And so I desperately want to give them something that I think they deserve. You cannot get my parents out of that condo. They are never gonna move. They love it. Their friends live on the same floor. I feel like they're like the president of the condo, like everybody knows them there. So here's why the house doesn't really work. My family all descends upon the family room, kitchen, dining room area. And my mom's always in the kitchen. And who's ever in the kitchen is all of a sudden isolated from everybody else because you're surrounded by these weird walls. Constantly people yelling back and forth like, what'd you say? But you're in one room, like it shouldn't be that hard to hear one another. Spatially speaking, the furniture doesn't equal out in size. And the house kind of looks like Miami Vice, circa 1994. Lots of leather couches, green and pink walls, which you know, you, you, you wouldn't think belong in the same room, but, but according to my parents, they do. My parents know they're getting kicked out of the house but they're not 100% sure what's gonna happen. Thank God for house. I'm still working full time. I'm very pregnant. And I know I personally could never have done this by myself. House is a website and an app where you can get inspired, you can find a professional, you can chop your heart out all in one place. I did a search for LA designers. I was able to find thousands of designers on house. I found Breeze. She had incredible reviews and I Loved her style, everything about her, and I knew that she was right for this project. Breeze and I talked on the phone, and it went very well. Now we're going to meet to discuss this project. Hi. It's so nice to finally see you. I'm very excited to get started. I'd love to hear more about what you have in mind. I think the problem with the space is just so not cohesive. It's just very, like... It's very compartmentalized. Yes. You know, ideally, like, a great room. But you walk in, and there's, like, the family room and the dining room, and. I guess what you would call a kitchen. Looks like a giant closet to me. And she cooks all the time. So, so it should be a chef's kitchen. Yes. And it's like my dad stuck her in the corner. And he was like, you just get this tiny corner of the living room. And he gave himself like two giant leather couches mm -hmm. and a television that's the size of the wall. So these are the things I'd like to change. OK. So however we can achieve it, we want to open up the space as much as possible. Yeah. I'd love to take a look at some of your ideas. An ID book is a place where you can store all your ideas for the house and products. You can share your idea book with other people involved in the project. It really helps you collaborate with everyone that's working with you. I like this kitchen. And I think this may be similar in some ways to how the flow and the layout go, mm -hmm. in that you have an L-shaped kitchen here, then you have dining mm -hmm. opposite the window, which is nice. What kind of storage is she most in need of? I would say definitely pantry, like spices and dry okay. goods everything and she like that. needs for all the yummy yeah. meals. So we did the kitchen. Yes. And now the dining room's a problem. We have massive dinners all the time, and so I think the seating is really important, and the lighting's really important, and the, the chandelier that they have now is a little dated, and the table is lacquered as it is. So I like this um, because I thought that it was, maybe it might be a little too traditional, for sure, but the 
the chandelier really is striking, and I think it could belong in the space. That's a great idea, but it's, it's long. Yeah, it's long, it's sculptural, it's um, transitional, and I think we're sort of going in that direction. But oh, what's nice about House is you can actually click on the image and it leads you to the House shop and lets you know if that item is available. So it's as simple as this. Add to cart. And you can check out now. And you can check out. Let's buy it. I love it. I'm so excited about this. OK. What are you thinking for the table, then? It's a rustic farmhouse table, but with great extendable leaves on each side. Oh, I love that table. So this is an idea of the couches. I love this as a seating configuration. Yeah, yeah I can see my dad taking a lot of naps on that couch. Let's get it. OK. Oh, good. Look at us making progress. <laughs> and if you keep their floors, maybe, maybe not. Yeah. It cannot stay the way it is. The finish yeah. is very dated. The glossiness and the yellow yeah. need to go. Let's change their floors. I'm really proud of us. We talked a lot about blowing out all of the walls and just making it one great room. Yeah. One idea is, is keeping part of the entry wall so you can preserve the feeling of enclosure and entry. But the idea is actually to leave three or four feet of wall so you could have an entry full mirror. Wall? Like floor to ceiling wall? Floor to no. ceiling. I don't know if I like this. I'm not against it. I trust you. So as far as things that should stay in the, in the space, there's three paintings that are important to my parents. They brought them with them from Russia. The triptych paintings are, are my dad's like pride and joy. And they represent, I think, past, present, and future. And that, to my dad, represents our, our family. The paintings need to stay in the space because I really want to make sure that the space represents them and doesn't lose their touch. OK, so just to reiterate, comfortable, comfortable and very family friendly and as open as possible. OK. You can maybe have your three foot wall, but just keep it as open <laughs> as possible. We'll do what we can. I'm so excited and so relieved that you're doing this and not me. You have no idea. Um, I trust you. Don't Excellent. mess this up. <laughs> um, I know where to find you. Today, Breeze and I are meeting at my parents' condo to finalize the plan. Hey! Hi! Nice to oh see you again. Goodness. Welcome, welcome. So we covered a lot of territory in our last meeting, mm -hmm. and maybe we should run through some of the things that came up. Like this discovered. beautiful television. <laughs> oh my gosh. Honestly, I'd like to consider mounting it to the wall. I think that that's a solid plan. What do you think of, of um, <laughs> the couches. these beautiful couches? The couches are going, I'm sorry to say. Although we talked about some of the things that they'd like to stay in the space. And yes. I'd love to see them okay. in person. So we, li we like that painting. We like it. OK. For sure. This was an interpretation of Chernobyl, right? Yes, exactly. It's one of my favorites. They love. Those. The triptych. Yeah. Yeah. And it has that sort of warm color scheme that we were talking about in the meeting. I don't love the framing of them. I feel like they're suffocated. Yeah, reframing the art for sure. So the kitchen. Yeah. This I'm really excited about. This whole wall behind me is getting blown away. So although it is load bearing, we're able to remove almost all of it and just leave a small post at the end of the kitchen. So excited, Brad! I do. Your parents are gonna love it. Oh my god, not as much as I. Now that Breeze has seen the place in person and I've heard her ideas, it's time to get started. I have been wanting to knock down this wall for 20 years. Listen, I might be nine months pregnant, but if anyone is knocking down that wall, it's me. OK, ready? OK. I'm standing back. Oh yes! <laughs> Listen, one hit was enough. <laughs> You're letting a pregnant lady hit a wall. I'll let the professionals do the rest. It's been a couple weeks since I've seen this, and so I'm coming by today to meet with Breeze to talk about where we are in the space and if they need, you know, my advice because everybody needs my advice. But I would love, love, love to go over design and floors and accent pieces and whatever else you can show me. Um, how about we start with flooring? I always like to look at floor on the floor. I have a favorite of these two. Which one is it? Well, how about we do this? This is option one, and that's option two. I'm gonna say one, two, three, and then you tell me your favorite, and then I'll tell you my favorite at the same time. We'll do it at the same time. Ready? Okay. One, two, 
Three. One. <laughs> the one that Breeze chose was, um, was a little bit more my parents friendly. I am gonna let her decide. There's a snapshot of um, the soft grays that we were gonna bring into the so space. Pretty. It's so pretty. Breeze and I both agreed we wanted a really clean looking kitchen. So it was um, versions of white. And then today she threw a little wrench in the plan, which is uh, glass cabinets and open shelving. And I love that idea. I think we did everything we need to though, and I'll get it, I'll get it rolling. Okay, let's get out. Okay. I think she just wants to, in a really great way, make my parents happy. I haven't been able to connect with Breeze in weeks. Cause I had a baby. I'm very excited. But today we have a lot to get done in my parents' condo. The new floors are going in, the kitchen cabinets are being installed, and all the items that we purchased on house are being delivered. So I'm gonna reach out to Breeze and see how the renovations are coming along. Hi, Breeze. Hi. Congratulations on having your baby. Thanks. <laughs> we created a human. How's it going over there? We're actually making a lot of progress. Um, did you get the picture? I did, I did, and I loved it. With House, you can virtually place products into your space. That way you can preview them before you buy them. Just tap view in my room under the product picture and it automatically launches a camera. Isn't it cool to actually see the furniture in the space before it's installed? No buyer's remorse. Nope, none. Thank you for sending it to me. The chandelier looks amazing. We just have a few weeks to go, but I think we're right on track. Oh, I can't wait. Good luck with everything. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. I can't wait to see the reaction on my parents' face. Um, God, they love it. I'm heading to my parents' condo and am dragging my husband along to do the heavy lifting. I'm very excited to show my parents the final product. Whoa! Hi! Well, oh my God. God. Congratulations, first of all. Oh, thank you. Have you been busy producing? I've been... produced. I've produced. produced. Your lighting is really, really pretty, I have oh. to tell you. It's just so much brighter and open. This is 100% the vision that I think Breeze and I had. I think that she took whatever we did put together and made it, and not only just come to life, but made it a million times better. In the design meeting, I really pushed to keep this wall so that you didn't enter into the kitchen. And right. now seeing the space, do you agree? <laughs> Are you kidding? I think it's great. I, I like, think it's it fantastic. It looks a lot like me. Yeah, it's the best wall in the house, so I like uh. it, naturally. <laughs> Good job, babe. Good job. OK, we do have a lot to do. Let's go. Let's, Let's get go. it done. Let's start. Time to work. Go. It feels really good to do this. I got this. You got that. Yeah, yeah bring in the mic. It feels nice, because it also feels permanent. It's not like a superficial gift. So I, I love it. I got it. There goes my back. <laughs> I think that they deserve it, and I hope that they grow in the space. And I hope that they love it as much as we do. Can you put this over there? Voila. Now we just have to populate it. That's like designer <laughs> code for get the boots. <laughs> they absolutely deserve and need a fresh be you know, beginning. They're newly retired. They need like a little, a little zhuzh in their life. Okay, babe, I think we're done. Uh, now we're done. Okay. Now? No, get out. Both of you get out. What are you talking about? I was just gonna sit no, down and... No, you get out. Don't dent the couch. I was gonna get try out. to populate my hand with the... No, get out. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait for them, and then I'll bring you guys back in. Go get them, babe. Thanks, baby. Bye, guys. Bye. We live here for over 20 years, and we've been out of the house for six weeks. When you're up to the certain age, it's not easy to move out and do the changes. And we didn't know what to expect. And I was scared, actually. I didn't want to go. What do you think? Oh my God, what I think, I don't know. <laughs> do you like it? Yes, I do. Come here, come look, 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 look. Oh, mommy, <laughs> don't cry. You're like, don't ruin my hair. <laughs> Seeing my parents' reaction to their condo for the first time made everything worth it. All the stress, the timing, everything and anything became null and void when my mom started crying. So, if you guys think of the space, we took all the walls down, so there's no more pantry. It's just one large space. It's nice, it's right? It's nice. 
Okay, so you ready to go look at the kitchen? Yeah. You go first. I really like it. Do you? Go ahead, go in, go <gasps> in. So now you actually have a kitchen. Oh, a big one. <laughs> yeah. So we gave you tons of spice racks over here. And then I really wanted the glass here because I thought that it would make it seem bigger. Do you like it? No, I love it. It's so pretty though, right? Yeah, I, I didn't even know that you can make it bigger than okay. I. Okay, come this way. So here's your new table. Because we have a, a growing family, you can take this. And it extends on both sides. On both sides. Out. It's easy. It's yeah. enough place for the six grandchildren here. <laughs> How many? Six. Six. Don't spread rumors, Dad. <laughs> Don't start spreading rumors. Look at your painting. Do you like the new frames? I love it. We knew that these were really important to you guys, considering they've been hanging here my whole life. We love it. This looks beautiful. I like the way it is now. The frame? It's nice, because it has like the same brassy yes, as the chandelier. Yes, it's, ma it's matched. When we were looking at idea books on house, we saw this. And, and instantly, I fell in love with it. And then the couch, you can, like, everybody oh, this can is see your dad's, everything. This is your dad's couch. What do you think? And the couch is perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> it's so good. My kitchen, his couch. <laughs> when you're angry and you don't like something, you have a lot of words to explain why you're angry. But if you're happy, you, you're just happy. That's it. It's, uh, it's not much words to explain your happiness. It was really important to make sure that that there was still you in the space. They look like it's from my, oh, my, they look like I my know. stuff. I know, it's really, yeah. really great, yeah. yeah. I would like for you to meet my little elves. Um, sit right here, I'll bring them out. Hold on. Breeze was an unbelievable human being to work with. This is Breeze, the designer, she did everything. It is such a pleasure. Thank I, you. Like I, I know you a little bit. Hi. How are you? Thumbs up. <laughs> you did, you did a Thumbs wonderful up. job. Thank wonderful you. Job. Love it. I'm just really happy to be involved with creating something beautiful for a beautiful family. Yeah. Let's, let's do a little toast, come on. Come on, come dad. My parents were a little resistant to the idea of change. And I hope that this somehow um, evokes a spark in their life. I would like to make a toast to my parents and to you guys working hard your whole life and never taking the time to do something for yourselves. And so we wanted to do something for you as um, as just a thank you for always being there for us kids. And we love you, so thank you. Thank you. Mommy, I love you crying. <laughs> <laughs> Give her some more champagne, she'll really start crying. I, I don't need more, I guess. You know, guys, we love you very much. We, we love, love you both guys. very much. We love you guys. But and... mostly we love our grandchildren. <laughs> Fine, me too. That's the truth. Through the technology of House, I was able to pull off an incredible surprise for my parents because being able to do everything from my computer while being nine months pregnant, it's made this entire experience so much, so much easier. You know, when you have your own family and you come into another family, you always think that no other family will be as uh, connected and loving and caring as your own family, except for you guys. I couldn't ask for better in-laws. Like, we're family, and there's no distinction between Mila's family and my family. And now I feel like we have a space that is as befitting as the love that the space holds. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As much as we're arguing constantly, <laughs> we love you anyway. <laughs> There's just so much more air and light in that room, and I think that that will translate into their whole life. I think that my brother and I and all our kids are going to be there way, way more often, which is either a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. But I definitely think there's going to be a lot more Sunday dinners there.